This is the airplane I flew on to Guatemala City. This is in Panama City. And here we're high over the clouds, headed toward the country of Guatemala, Central America. The clouds are pretty that day. And below we can see the road way down in there in the mountains. And the countryside on the mountains. It's a pretty sight to look down. weather was perfect. The clouds were beautiful. The mountainous countryside is very pretty. This is in the city of Guatemala, where we spent a couple of nights in a kind of a motel there. And outside, on the outskirts, people are busy at work. They got their little property fenced off with, wo with rocky fences. In the city, they sit waiting for something to do. In the background, the ever majestic Mount Awa, waiting for us to come climb it. The Maya Indians on the corner. They have their little gardens, which is very important to them. Two Mayan women. This is on a park outside of Guatemala City on the side of a mountain. A small cornfield. The people have plenty to do. This is the way they wash their clothes. Looking down from the park over the mountainside. Sometimes they love to sit down and play the drums, enjoy music. Music is a very important part of their life. They don't have much and they have to work hard to make a living. But they have good times also.
outside the city. The women work hard to make a living. They make their own clothes and they have pretty colors. They're also good at balancing things on their head. the back streets head homeward toward the mountains. Outside the city, on the outskirts, People live in primitive conditions, but they are quite happy. The sun goes down behind the clouds. Always in the background are the majestic mountains. And in the cities and villages, there's always a church, a Catholic church, built several hundred years ago. And they're very beautiful. This is inside of one of them. A gateway to one of the cities. The churches are very beautiful. It's quite an experience to look inside of them. Some, most were made back in the 1500s. Outside they continue to pl play music with their drums. They're celebrating the holiday, New Year's. Very important day to them. And they're quite enjoying it very much. The mountains are beautiful from high up on top of an extinct volcano looking down. Mountain village in the background. Top of a sometimes active volcano. Mount Bacalia, any carrying wood back down to the village. It has one of the cornfields they're proud of. All the work is done by hand.
They had their little plots along the mountain. It's very rocky and it's very steep and the soil is poor, but they make it. Some have sheep, which they use for food and to make clothes with. And at places, going up Mount Zunil, you see a waterfall. Far below, you see the village of Zunil. All the mountains being used in this area. Some of it is very steep, but they know how to farm it. A hot springs bath on Mount Zunil. Water is quite hot. A little hut on the side of the hot springs. Looking down the side of the mountain. It's very steep in places. Along the road, along the road, sometimes you find a goat tied out, feeding on the grass. Very mountainous country. A large, deep mountain lake, Atitlan. Lake Atitlan. This is a ancient monument in one of the villages in the countryside. Made by the ancient Mayans hundreds of years ago. Time has taken its toll on these carvings of ancient gods of the ancient Mayan Indians. But the people go on with their work because they got to make a living. In Chichi Castanango, market day is very popular. People come from all around to buy and trade for the things the Indians make. And this is the church that a lot of them worship in. on Mount Pacaya. Off the side of Pacaya you can see the lava ash. Just like beach sand. Distance you see more volcanoes. And the minor eruptions are quite common. They enjoy playing their musical instruments. This mountain is very active. This volcano is very active on this day. It's also very windy. On the side of the mountain, you can see forever, it seems like. This is inside the crater at the top of Mount Awa, over 12,000 feet high. The 
the soccer field on top of Mount Awa. It's very high, and they would have to be very good shape to play soccer up here, just for the Indians. But I felt like I was on top of the world, on top of the crater rim. And you can see beyond for a long ways. And far off, you can see mountain villages in the distance. From a top Mount Awa, where we spent the night in our sleeping bags above the clouds. A beautiful place. You can seemingly see forever in all directions. Like being atop of the world. So hazy you can see for hundreds of miles. And again, another minor volcano eruption. And you know, going down the side of Mount Awa, you see the little farming pots that the Indians used for food. And down at Antigua, there's a lot of ruins that have been there for a long time. Because Mount Awa periodically would erupt and at times floods and the mountain would come down and destroy the village. And these are the ruins of Antigua. It used to be the capital of Guatemala, but because of the ruins and the volcanoes and everything, they moved to Guatemala City. But the ruins remain forever. A memory from the past. This was in the early 1970s, and there has been an earthquake since. So these ruins now may even be ruined more. Earthquakes in Antigua. Some of the cathedrals still stand partially destroyed, but not able to be used because they're too dangerous. And a mountainside on the way back down Mount, Mount Awa. Beautiful mountain. Guatemala is a beautiful country. Incredible sights. A place that you'll never forget.